Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. coming but this is my very first <gasps> lush what's in your shower what's in your shower love okay so obviously this is just the lush in my shower but let's face it it's mainly lush in my shower are you ready are you ready rock steady <gasps> let's go all right so i have got a basket full <laughs> This is, this is honestly just for my shower. So we'll start with the shower gel, shall we? Okay, so first, bubbly. This is the lovely citrus one from Christmas 2016. Uh, it's nice. It smells like Celebrate. You can see, this is the one I got um, on sale. <laughs> um, I've got Comforter, which is nice. I'm so happy this is an in-store um, shower, shower gel, shower cream, they're calling it shower cream, darling. I, I've loved the Comforter for ages. Getting all over <laughs> So yeah, Comforter was um, just a bubble bar, of course, for ages. And then, now they've made it into a shower cream, it also has been a perfume from time to time. And I'm lucky enough to have uh, the Comforter perfume. I really like it a lot. It's one of my old faves, but still a fave. Uh, it's a very sweet one. So if you're a fan of sweet smells, like Snow Fairy and stuff, try the Comforter. So right, just to explain, in my shower there are different zones. So there is the ex exclusive kind of limited zone and then there's the regular zone. So at the moment, in the regular zone, there is the comforter and bubbly. Uh, but the rest is pretty much my exclusive zone. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, okay. So, got 29 High Street in there. Um, as you can see, I haven't really used it much. Um, I do like it, but I'm kind of saving it. I mean, it's kind of like saying Lang Lang, but I don't really get that when I use it. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the smell of the shop. You know, when you go past the last shop, but it doesn't really give me that. Maybe because, I mean, shops change their smell depending on what bath bombs and stuff are in there. Anywho. Uh, so that's the overall like smell of Lush changes really, but um, I still like it. Anyway, punch, a pinch and a punch. Um, this is the alcohol free version that was in the kitchen. Um, again, a nice citrusy one, it's citrus, cinnamon, um, came out for Christmas. Um, and then it's come back around a couple of times now, which I'm glad. When it first came out for Christmas, no one liked it, but I did. <laughs> And I was thinking, oh damn, I'm never going to see this again. But thanks to Kitchen I have, so thanks Lush Kitchen! Uluru! Uluru! It's another um, Lush Kitchen one. Um, another kind of citrusy one. It's got macadamia oil in it. There we go, sandalwood. Lemon infusion. To me, it just kind of smells citrusy. And it's kind of creamy. Again, not super strong. And old Lush Kitchen. Uh, this is 2014. A super Tramp. Shower gel and bubble bath. There you go. I'm a fan of Tramp actually and Super Tramp. Um, it's very, it's beautiful and earthy. And this is another example of, well, yes, hashtag lush hoarding. It's also an example of, I think the shower gels last a really long time. Sometimes they go a little bit runny, although this one hasn't. But other than that, they usually keep their smell. So, you know, I'm not advocating it, but I'm just saying I have participated in a little bit of uh, Lush shower gel hoarding, or quite a lot. <laughs> Lush hoarder. Um, because yeah, shower gels seem to last well over time. Giant Twilight. Um, I got this one in Oxford Street, so I'm kind of savouring it. And also because they used to bring out Twilight quite a lot, but lately they haven't. So I'm just like using it a little bit. This is the lovely lavendery one. It's so nice. Yeah, I love Twilight. It's one of my faves. I'm running out of space already on here. I've got a little old comforter. Now this is actually from Canada. It was the Canada release and it is from two, November 2010. There you go. This might be up there for one of my oldest Lush products. It was a limited edition um, shower gel of the comforter. Um, and yeah, you can see it was, I don't know if you can see that, it wasn't creamy like this is the old versus the new this is the old comforter versus the new comforter 
old and new. So the new one had made creamy looking. Uh, the old one was like a see-through kind of like cherry colour. So anyway, but it still smells good. Oh, it's not as not as nice as the brand new one, but okay. Also up for the award of oldest product, although this is 2012, so not quite is Smargadine and this is in the old um, Retro Lush packaging. So in Australia we had Retro Lush, um, we still don't have Lush Kitchen but we used to be able to vote online for retro products, so like past products, to vote to have them remade um, and in the UK and so the, actually this is a UK, I thought it was Australia but it's not, UK um, Retro Lush product um, of Smargadine. Um, which I, I loved and this reminds me of really old old Lush because back in the day <laughs> darling in the olden days when Lush first came to Australia in Australia they only had like the QVB store as far as I know this is and I remember this I remember buying this from there there and they had a store at Paddington in New South Wales near the city and I used to go into the Paddington store and I used to buy this and they had like a chai shower gel and some other nice things. Calacus or Calacus, of course. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I love this. I love it too, Calacus. This is a 2012 shower jelly. And the other thing with the same smell, of course, Monsters Ball. Calacus! Oh my god, Calacus or Calacus. It doesn't matter because I'm in love with it. Uh, I, I have Calacus or Calacus in everything. It's one of my faves, all time faves. Uh, and it's of course a kitchen edition. Um, it's the 2016 edition. I've got quite a lot of these. Now, this is a really old one. It's totally skanky and I've only got a tiny bit left. Um, it is Happy for Sad. This was really sweet because a couple of times I've been given like a pay it forward from Lush in my order, which was super nice. And this is one of those products they sent me, Happy for Sad, just to be nice, which is really nice. So it's, it talks about, you know, the, the seasonal affective disorder or sad. So that's a really nice product to be pay it forward. Blue Skies. Uh, as a bubble bath, but as a liquid, so you know, that used to be Blue Skies bubble bath, that one, but as a liquid. This is old as well, 2012, <laughs> it's a little bit mucky now. Salted coconut, um, it's dripping everywhere. <laughs> Salted coconut hand scrub. I've also got one of my ancient Bouche de Noelles from 2015. I know, I'm naughty. If you haven't seen it already, I did a whole video, I did a whole Lush confession of my fresh, Lush fresh hoarding. Go and watch that, it's pretty funny. Oh! <laughs> so Bush Noel Christmas uh, face scrub from 2015. It's the last three months. Smuggler's Soul, oh my god Lush, bring out Smuggler's Soul again. Oh, this is, I think, the best Lush face scrub they've made. The consistency is right. The um, effect is right, it is a great scrub. It's on par with some of the really top, posh, expensive face scrubs I've tried. It's really good, it's that good. Um, the only thing I don't love about it is the smell, that's because it's Smuggler's Soul, and I'm not a big fan of Smuggler's Soul, but other than that, I can live with that because the consistency is just awesome. Um, it's a very, very fine scrub, it's gorgeous, I love it. Anyway. Look at this, we're, crack we're cracking through this. I'm proud of myself. This is a tiny sample of um, Let the Good Times Roll that they sent me with one of my orders recently. Um, that was Lush Australia, was it Lush Australia? I think it was Lush Australia. And they <laughs> I don't know if they watch my fresh order video. <laughs> oh! <laughs> with my really ancient um, Let the Good Times Roll. <laughs> And Bush Noel and stuff I've been hoarding for years. We're like, damn, send that girl some fresh scrub. Fresh cleanser. I call them scrubs because they're scrubby. They're scrubby. Anyway, I know they're cleansers. Okay, next. Lemon Sherbert uh, Shouder. Don't be mad at me, um, but I do put my showers in plastic bags because otherwise they just get trashed in my shower. Um, so this came out, of course, with this, like the beach. Um, and there was another one, the Coffee Chichino something one, um, and of course Candy Floss, which I just bought, stupidly thinking that it would keep it fluffy. <laughs> so now, look, soon this will be in the shower as well, look, I've almost got a full collection, I just can't get the last one, the fourth one. 
If you've got the fourth one and you want to pass it on, let me know. <laughs> okay, so lemon sherbet. I like it, I don't love it. It's okay, it's citrusy, but it's not as good as this. This is my favorite. Well, I know it's not a shower, but it came out with the showers. Um, body scrub powder, it's a sandy body scrub. It's a maze. It feels like you're at the beach. I love it. It's great, go buy it. It's still on range now, so go buy it. And now my scrubs, I put them in these because it's just like, you know, it gets a weird bird in the background. You may or may not hear. So, uh, I've also got this one, Pumice Power. This is the foot scrub with the orange oil. Uh, very nice. I use it on my body, not just my feet, because I love fine scrubs. So, that one is in there. And finally, the very dis oh, look at it. The disgusting remains of Rough with the Smooth. The Rough with the Smooth. Um, yes. So. All right, so that is it. That is my What's in Your Shower for March 2017. Um, I'd love to see what you've got in your shower. So if you are uploading any videos or you've got photos, let me know what you've got in your shower right now from Lush. I would love to see it. It is always so much fun to see what's in other people's showers. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe because I'm always trying to put up fun stuff here on the channel. There's lots of Lush. Um, I'm also into vintage because of course it's very eco-friendly um, and it's just fun. And uh, I'm into food. I do a little bit of comedy, uh, all sorts. So it's a bit of an everything channel, but always there'll be lush uh, videos coming back so stick with it yeah i'm also on social media so look me up anyhow you guys have a fabulous day um i really appreciate you watching my video and i'd love to hear from you uh hit subscribe like and uh yeah have a fabulous day darlings fabulous bye